from the 100th anniversary of what many consider the Armenian Genocide. President Obama has said he will not use the term genocide to describe the mass killings that took place at the hands of the Ottoman Turks. ATBN's Ani Yukar went to a commemoration at Tommy Trojan, where activists expressed concern over the president's decision. Ani? That's right, Patricia. The president's decision not to recognize the mass killings as a genocide was the focus of today's commemoration. Musicians performed traditional Armenian music to honor the roughly 1.5 million Armenians who were killed during what many consider the first genocide of the 20th century. Attendees say they are disappointed with the president's decision. Before he was elected, he said he would recognize the atrocities as a genocide, but once elected, he backed away from that commitment. With our president not recognizing the Armenian genocide, it's um, something that of course is very shameful, but it, it just makes the U.S irrelevant in discussions about human rights and genocide. On the other hand, world powers including Pope Francis and the European Union have officially recognized the 1915 massacre as genocide. Many believe their actions would have influenced the president to follow suit. Turkey denies the killings were genocide and has accused the EU of trying to rewrite history. In an email at response to ATVN, the Turkish consulate here in LA says, quote, we see what has happened in 1915 as a tragedy. We bear witness of the suffering endured by the Armenians and see it as a terrible incident occurred in the past. In this respect, we have no objections to remembering the lost ones and commemorating these sufferings. Nonetheless, history should not be read merely on the basis of one-sided narratives." End quote. But the issue goes beyond just the use of the word genocide. CNN legal correspondent and Ar Armenian community member Mark Garagos explains what he feels is at stake. The reason the Turks don't want to recognize it, the reason they're so afraid of the R word recognition is because they know that the next R word coming is reparations. And they don't want to do what Germany has done. They don't want to do what many of the European countries have done. They don't want to have to pay reparations. And so that's it. This fight over recognition is nothing more than a proxy fight for over restitution and reparations. More than 40,000 people are expected to turn out for a march this Friday to mark the 100th anniversary of the Armenian Genocide. The march will start in Hollywood and end at the Turkish Consulate on Wilshire Boulevard. Thanks, Ani. One of the best untapped resources for water is right here in our homes. A new water recycling plant is using that resource to add millions of gallons of water to LA's water supply. ATVN's Kate Flexer tells us about reusing wastewater. California generates millions and millions of gallons of wastewater every day. After only one use, that wastewater is treated and then released into the ocean. But we can use that water two and even three times thanks to recycling plants. We've got to reuse, recycle, and reduce the water that we use in the city of Los Angeles. Today, Mayor Eric Garcetti took part in the groundbreaking of a second water recycling plant in San Pedro. Ready, one, two. Three. The new plant will more than double current production to produce 12 million gallons of water per day. That's enough to provide water to 67,000 LA residents every day. We're treating this water to, to higher level standards uh, that, are, that are comparable to drinking water. This plant uses a process called reverse osmosis that highly pressurizes the water and squeezes it through this filter. That gets rid of any impurities all the way down to the molecular level. Mark Starr runs the plant, and he says reverse osmosis is actually a natural process. It's just a, a, essentially a, a process that handles in nature. We just accelerate it. So this is just nature sped up? Yes. This new plant will help Los Angeles reduce the amount of water that's imported and instead begin to reuse what we have here. In Los Angeles, Kate Flexter, ATVN.